Hello, YouTube people. Music Therapy Laz here on Music Therapy Thursday, episode two. And uh, I just wanted to throw this up real quick. I got my Peruvian Chuyo on because I'm heading out into the cold here in California. It's gotten cold. And uh, today on December 5th. And um, I've got a bunch of work to do. I've been super busy, a little scruffy around the edges. Uh, but I got, I got something from my cousin Art at our jam night, or turkey jam night Saturday night, which was a lot of fun because it was just us musicians uh, pretty much there except for his uh, better half, Monica. And uh, we ate up a bunch of good food and ribs and this and that. And then we also had a great time playing music without much distraction from anyone else around. So my brother Andrew and I, my cousin Art, my cousin Joe, and just the four of us uh, just rocking out uh, my cousin Art, of course. And so the surprise thing I wanted to show you guys is something that he had I'm not even sure the story, how it goes, who he got it from, but he got it as a gift from someone. He doesn't even play guitar. He sings. He's a really good singer. Um, and he plays bass. He needs to get better at the bass part, but he's uh, got, got a really good voice. I mean, he can hit that Aussie stuff and sound like Aussie, and it's unbelievable. But anyway, he got this from somebody, and it's kind of broken. So I've got to try to figure out a way to fix it. But in the box even, right? Jimi Hendrix, a Digitech Jimi Hendrix Experience wah pedal. Um, so you all know, if you know me a little bit by now, you know I'm insane about pedals. <laughs> it's kind of like, I guess it kind of comes a little bit from my uh, synth background. I really got into, you know, sounds, uh, synthesizers and making sounds with uh, synths and stuff. And... Um, Look, it even came with a purple Digitech pick. Um, it comes in this cool bag. It's a really <laughs> funky purple bag, right, with gold trim. And uh, still got the plastic sleeve and everything. So uh, it comes with its own power supply. Hardly used. I mean, you can't, <laughs> probably never really used. Anyway, so somebody apparently stomped on it and broke something over here. There's supposed to be something coming out of a hole here, and it was broken. There's Roxy, by the way. She's always with me. Um, so I've got to figure out how to get this thing fixed or fix it. I don't think the part's anywhere around. Maybe it was just a spring. They said it was some kind of a lever thing, so might have to take it apart and see what's going on in there, um, which I'm a little, you know, insecure about in the sense that I've never really taken pedals apart ever before. So if there's a part in here somewhere, um, that might help, but I doubt it. It's got, you know, like I said, the power supply there. So uh, I thought that would be cool to show on Music Therapy Thursday here because, uh, you know, tinkering with gear and sound, it's all part of that fun stuff, right? And um, outside of that, you know, a few things that were out there available for purchase for, for uh, the Black Friday, the Cyber Monday thing. Um, but really I wanted to concentrate on getting the studio put together and working by the uh, beginning of the year because I have a community song project that we're going to be doing with, uh, the Count, Phil Mosley on his channel, um, with the Patreon group there. So I've got to get everything up and running in here, which is a good motivator for me. And I'm going to spend some time in between, uh, the Christmas and New Year time when I'm not going to be working as much, um, so I can do that. But yeah, it's all coming together real nicely. I've, I've got these two still sitting out. I have some of the other ones in the cases right now, but I was planning to be in the, the Telecaster a little bit recently. But at jam night, I left these behind and I was mainly playing the uh, the, the Henning Pauly, the HP 42 signature Henning, uh, Harley Benton guitar and my Blacktop Strat, which is really fun, uh, fun humbucker packed uh all kind of kind of like the uh fat strats like they had those in the 90s i think the fat strats which are basically a strat with two humbuckers in it um and then i had uh the the gretch out as well so i think i threw some pictures up on instagram if you want to see that and if you want to see my pedal layout oh i might as well show you that real quick so so what i took in my pedal bag which i haven't put the board together yet but um I did put the pedal bag together, and this is a pretty cool thing. I mean, uh, you know, Roadrunner makes these smaller size bags that I have all the accessories and cables and whatnot and extra stuff in, uh, stands and stuff like that. 
Here I've got, uh, you know, this setup, which is the 68 uh, Deluxe by LPD, uh, mini wah pedal. I've got a, I think it's a mod tone, Chinese uh, mod tone uh, tuner, which works great because it's got the bypass mode. The plumes, which I really enjoyed, uh, but that light on that thing is like a laser beam, in, beam into your eyes. So I uh, suggest uh, doing something with that. I'm going to probably put something over the top of that because it's way too bright. Um, and then the LPD Vermin, the Super Fuzz, which is a blast, the Soul Vibe Rotary Simulator, the Tremor Optical trem Tremolo with two speed options to click on, the Arena Reverb from TC Electronics, the MXR Analog Course, which is a fabulous course, sounds great. And then the Freak Out, which I didn't really have to use much there, <laughs> but, I, but I still messed around with it. And then the Double Decker just for uh, some uh, delay, so that gives you short long delay and you can combine short and long together and get some really cool kind of like you know U2 kind of edge sounds or whatnot but anyhow that was my setup for Saturday's jam night and then I've got all these over here I've got to still set up something with the volume pedal so we'll see I've got to probably go through all these pedals at one point one by one with you guys just to show you why I got them and a lot of times I got them because they were just a really good value for the money too you know so Roxy is bidding you farewell as well as I will. I got to get to work here on a Thursday morning uh, for Music Therapy Thursday. You can't start a day without music, right? So that's what this is this is all about. So thank you for uh, watching my channel. I'll try to throw some more musical stuff up again soon because I've just been talking and blabbing. And last thing I did was uh, a Black Friday kind of thing, um, which had a bunch of really good deals. Um, I came close on some of those. Uh, yeah, anyway, <sighs> some good deals. So, oh, one other thing I want to show you guys. I don't know if I did, but my brother Andrew got uh, some some microphones from somebody for free. Uh, this some guy gave it to him, and they're, they're these Russian studio mics. And I looked them up. They're worth like 100 bucks or so used, but they came in their cases and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, yeah, MK319s. Um, came with like some other gear, so we'll go through that when we need to, but I've got some other studio mics and stuff like that, so anyhow, showing you guys a couple of things going on here. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching my channel and uh, watching the video, and subscribe if you want to see more. Of course, I appreciate that. It'll help my channel grow. I'm trying to hit 100 by Christmas. I had the 100, uh, I tried to hit 100 by end of uh, August for, for what it, what was it called, uh, beta vlog every day in August, and I didn't get close, I got like 60, but um, I'm getting close to 100 now, um, I think I'm at 97, um, I really appreciate all those that have uh, subscribed, but if you know anyone else that hasn't seen the channel or might enjoy, you know, seeing how an apartment studio can be put together, I got a bunch of junk in here still I need to, to organize. But yeah, so it's a small like 11 by 13 or 14 size apartment room. And hopefully by the time I have it all set up, I could show like, you know, okay, this is how you can set up an apartment room to do recording, silent recording, um, or amps a little bit low, but using like, I'm um, using the cab simulator um, by two notes to do, you know, good sounding amp sounds, you know, loud sounds. I do plan on getting some amp heads over time, which would be kind of cool. I'm still looking at which which should be my first. I might get the JJ, I might get the Junior, the Freeman one, or I might even get the Pete Thorne one, the PT-20. That would be good. It's even got some built-in IRs. So, you know, if you don't know about some of these words or terms, um, what I'm saying here, if you're, like, beginning or new to this stuff, um, I'll try to, try to explain some of the things. But there are a lot of people out there that are, you know, have been doing this stuff for years that have explained a lot of this stuff. But, you know, I'd be happy to throw up some of my... Uh, advice or knowledge on this stuff but um yeah this is really just to show you guys uh what i'm doing with it and how i'm uh, using music as a form of not just therapy for myself but to express you know the creativity and be part of this awesome creative musical community that's out there sharing their knowledge and music and everything with the world so um so for for the fourth or fifth time i'm going to say goodbye thanks for subscribing thanks for notifying or hitting the notification notifying yourself of future uh, videos. Thanks for uh, hitting the like button if you like this and definitely comment whatever you want down below. I don't mind. I don't have, I have, I have thick skin. I can take it. <laughs>
and I uh, appreciate you guys uh, for all you do out there if you're part of the community as well. And stay tuned for some music in the future. Say bye. Bye, Roxy. Bye, Roxy.